Hey folks, I'm Jody White. We're here up on the Ohio River now. I've got Glenn Brown with me, winner at Champlain. Glenn, last time I talked to you in practice, you know, you'd gone out, you had him dialed in, you said, oh, this is going to be good. Then you went and you caught 20 pounds three days in a row, picked up the win. Yeah. Um, how's practice gone this time? <laughs> Not quite so good. I think if I caught 20 pounds for two days, I'd be pretty happy. Okay. You know, All it's, right. it's, uh, you know, it's a different fishery. It just doesn't have the, the quality. I mean, it's got some fish in it, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just hard to find them, you know, and there's a lot of pressure up here now. You know, you put over 100 boats in the water and, you know, one boat after another going in these little creeks, it just kind of shuts everything down and makes it tough. Yeah, and I imagine that pretty much everybody sees what looks good right off the bat and they at least go check that out right? yeah everybody looks at google earth and they look at their gps maps and you know so everybody's kind of more or less running the same things you know the, the difference is going to be the guy that maybe finds something a little different or off the wall or maybe on this main river you know that's not so abused um you know i couldn't really figure out anything on the main river but i mean i know they live there so if you can figure them out out there where they're not harassed as much i think you're going to be better off all right now, you've seen a little bit of everything, right? You hit every pool? Yeah, I fished, you know, up here a couple of days, and I fished, you know, in the Cumberland and behind the Tennessee Dam a little bit, or, you know, so, yeah. I mean, I'm sure, quite honestly, it probably will be one behind one of those dams somewhere. You know, somebody just parks up there and sits there and beats on it. Okay. You know, that just seems like where the better quality is. But, I mean, that, that also can be, you know, hampered by boat traffic. You know, if there's yeah. a bunch of guys or you can't get on your spot, you're liable not to catch them, so, you know, which I'm a, I'm old bank beater, so, you know, I like this kind of cover up here. There's some wood and stumps and stuff I can pitch and flip around. Yeah, we're, so we're up, you know, above Smithland in the upper pool now. Is this where you think you're spending the majority of the tournament no matter what, or is most, anything else still in play for you? Most likely. I mean, I'll come up here the first day and, and beat around up here, and then if that doesn't play, you know, I'll go back and I've got a couple other things, you know, but I've got one little place up here that I've kind of got all my eggs in the basket. You know, I found it the first day of practice and I had a few bites in there, but not not bunches of them, you know. Okay. But if I could catch a limit in there, I'd feel pretty good about it. Is it a place you think you might have to yourself or is it you're not willing to say that yet? I, I doubt it. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to have anything to themselves up here, but, okay. you know, it's it's kind of off the beaten path. So I'm hoping, you know, there may be a just, if there's any boats in there, just a couple or two or three. All right. Uh, you know, as far as what's up here, you've got obviously a lot of little creeks and stuff coming off the main river. I guess, what's in them to fish, and what have you seen as far as all this rain? You know, has that muddied it up at all, or is it still pretty good? It looks still pretty good. You know, this this has got a little bit of color to the water anyhow up here. Okay. You know, so all this rain, you know, and hasn't seemed to affect it too much. You know, they're pulling the water pretty good. Seems like they picked it up a little bit today. So it seems like as fast as it's coming in, they're just kind of sucking it out. So if they keep moving it like that, I think it'll keep the water clarity, you know, at least relatively decent. All right. Well, Glenn, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope your hope your prime little spot holds up for you. I hope you can get on it and catch some. And uh, good luck out there. All right. Thank you.